Doctor, when it comes to knee arthritis, which you said is one of the most common reasons patients come to see you, yes. uh, how is that diagnosed and what causes it? Well, most patients will come to us because they're having symptoms. So they're having knee pain, they feel perhaps increased noise or cracking in the knees. These are some of the most common complaints we hear in the office, but I would say about 80 to 90 percent of the time they, call, they come because of pain in the joint. And then uh, sometimes with just an x-ray or, or a radiograph and, and obtaining some, some uh, history, we can have a, at least a, a good idea of what's going on, a, a, a strong presumptive diagnosis, which can then be confirmed by the physical exam and perhaps some additional workup. Uh, some patients may need uh, more advanced imaging, but th that's not always necessary. And what are some treatments for arthritis? I know it's an individual situation for every patient. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, the, of the most accepted treatments, you know, a self-management program is going to be very, very important. So the, one of the first thing we want to do when we see uh, a patient with arthritis is engage that patient, not only in understanding their diagnosis, but also in, in what we're going to do to get through this, to, to feel better, to stay active, and to retain or improve our quality of life. So it all starts by it all starts with patient education and, and providing, uh, providing them with the tools to better understand and manage the disease. Physical activity is going to be very important, so very often we will recommend a, a rehabilitation or exercise program. Keep the muscles around that joint strong, keep those joints flexible and moving. There are some medications that can help with the symptoms, you know, mainly analgesics and anti-inflammatories are perhaps the most commonly used one and the, and the most accepted. Uh, you have things that you can inject into the joint to improve that inflammatory component of the disease and, and improve that inflammatory environment inside of the joint, inside of the synovium. And then, of course, uh, other medications that can help lubricate the joint, decrease friction. And, you know, it, it is the subject of, of a lot of investigation these days with more advanced or perhaps consider experimental modalities like platelet-rich plasma or, or stem cells. There's a lot of conversation about that in the medical world right now. Um, and you know, with some promising results perhaps, so that's, that's good.